So today, we're going to look at how you can reboot Tasmoda devices uh, from within Home Assistant. Now, you may not always need to do this. Uh, I'm going to go into a little bit further details here in a minute about why I am needing to do this. But I thought it might be cool to do a video on this anyway uh, to show you how you can reboot your Tasmoda devices in Home Assistant. So let's check it out. All right, so to give you a background uh, of the issue that I'm running into, um, I have about 20 some odd devices uh, running Tasmoda custom firmware. As you can see here in the uh, Tasmo admin console here, it lists out all my different devices. The issue I'm running into is that ever so often, if I'm doing a lot of maintenance within Home Assistant, uh, I've found that the Tasmoda devices become unresponsive in Home Assistant. Now I'm using the MQTT integration, uh, as you can see here, and so uh, it does the auto discovery and pulls everything in. And I'm not sure if it was happening before I switched to the auto discovery, but it seems like more often than not now, uh, whenever, like I said, I do a lot of maintenance in Home Assistant, maybe have to reboot a couple of times, those devices become completely unresponsive in Home Assistant and I'm forced to reboot them from the actual Tasmoda device. Now we can do this from within Tasmo Admin. You could technically just go through and re reboot each device uh, by hitting the little reboot icon all the way down the board. But I thought it'd be cool to create a script uh, that if I have this issue, um, then in Home Assistant all I do is execute that script and it would reboot all the devices for me and then everything would come back online. So let's check it out. So what we're going to be doing with this script is an MQTT publish command. Uh, obviously in order to do that we need to have the full topic for whatever devices that we want to reboot. So if we're in one of our Tasmoda devices here, um, you go into configuration, then click on um, MQTT, and as you can see here down at the bottom it lists out your topic and your full topic. You're going to want to make note of that for whatever devices you want to reboot. Uh, because we're going to use that uh, when we build out our script. Now I'm not going to do this for all my devices right now. I'm just going to do a, kind of a test script to show you what you can do. But basically I'm going to edit my test scripts.yaml file here. I'm going to find an open spot down towards the bottom. Uh, for the script name I'm going to call it reboot underscore tasmoda underscore devices. And again the alias will also be reboot tasmoda devices. Uh, for the sequence, let's see, the service is mqtt.publish. Uh, and then under data, the topic, of course, this will be the topic that we saved earlier. Uh, so for this one, it's going to be sandys-light slash cmnd slash restart. The payload will be set to 1. And that's it for that particular device. Now we're going to add a couple more just to kind of show you how the script's going to work. You're going to want to do this for all the devices that you have set up that you're wanting to reboot. So if you have 20 devices, it's going to get kind of lengthy in the script, but that's okay because once you have it set up, you shouldn't have to touch it again. Uh, for the second one, again, the service is mqtt.publish. Under data, the topic for this one's going to be light slash cmnd slash restart. That's the topic for the second device. Payload will be one. Now again, just so you know, these topics are for my devices specifically, so your topics will be different. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, so uh, for the third and final device that we're going to add, again, the service is mqtt.publish. And then the topic for that third one is lr-plugs slash cmnd slash restart. And again, the payload is one. Once we have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to the web interface. 
We'll do a check and fig to make sure everything uh, looks good. And the nice thing about this is we're not doing uh, anything other than scripts here. So we don't have to restart Home Assistant. We can just do a reload scripts and that should be enough for us to pull in the uh, newly created script. We'll give that a second to come back up and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, let's see this thing in action. So on the top I have a uh, Tasmo admin pulled up showing the three devices that we have uh, set up the script for. On the bottom, as you can see, it's kind of the web interface of Home Assistant with that little script that we, uh, that we just created. We're gonna go ahead and click execute on that. We'll give it a second, and as you can see, the devices are rebooting. You can see their runtime being set to uh, start over with like two to three seconds. So everything looks good. That's it. Uh, this script worked great. It rebooted the three devices just as we wanted it to. Obviously, if we had more devices uh, built out, then it would have rebooted all those as well. So uh, I think this is going to do exactly what I want it to do. Now, again, I will state this. If you guys know of an issue that, that might be causing it uh, in my Tasmoda config, please let me know. Um, this is a great workaround uh, for right now, but obviously I'd love to figure out if there's some underlying issue that's causing my devices to become unresponsive like that, other than just me monkeying around with my system all the time, which does happen quite a bit. Nonetheless, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, it's a pretty quick video. There wasn't a whole lot to it. I just wanted to show you something that I've run into in case any of you are having that same problem. Then, of course, this might help you out uh, in the same way that it's going to help me. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out uh, all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.